No, God just keeps opening up the doors. Uh, if you, I, I mean, I'll give you an example. We're going to talk to Herman Mendoza tomorrow mm -hmm. morning at 7 a.m. And uh, he was just featured in uh, Western Journal, and I saw him on there. And he is a, he had a big headline, former drug dealer, drug kingpin, uh, who, who, who found Christ. And so uh, I found his website. I reached out to him, and I said, we'd love to have you on the show. And within five minutes, he was on our website. And he emailed me back 10 minutes after that and put us in touch with his publicist. So our church is located in a very hot area. So Saturday night, we can have church outside on the asphalt on the blacktop that's been cooking all day. And it's going to be 95 for a high that, you know, during the day. Mm -hmm. So the asphalt's going to be about 120. And uh, that's how we get to have church now. There's pastors that have a backbone and they're having church inside, but there's not many of them. And they are defying the order. There's something different about being in church and being able to worship and, and praise and do all those things in person. What is the agenda behind it? You know, is it truly about health and safety? Because that's that's something completely different if that's true. But I think we know that that's not true. I have a right to go to church if I want to, and I don't need anybody to tell me. And if I get sick and die, and I'm not here a month from now because I died of COVID because I went to church, well, then it was my own business and it was my own problem. We got to pray for each other. And I think that's the biggest way that change is going to come. Whatever side you're on and whatever your beliefs are in terms of how this thing is unfolding, if you want change to happen, we, we got to involve God.